In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting facts and myths about the Chartreux cat. Upon hearing the word Chartreux, you'd be forgiven for thinking it's a French wine. It isn't, though. Chartreux is a truly unique breed of cat. Watch this video and discover some fabulous facts about this pious cat from France. Don't mistake Chartreux cats for British short hairs. With their plush blue-gray fur and round faces, the two cats look a lot alike. However, the Chartreux is thought to hail from France, where it's unofficially known as the country's national cat. The Chartreuse is a medium-sized cat. She is heavily muscled and has heavy boning. She has a thick, rounded appearance. Males are larger than females. As a powerful cat, all components should be well-developed. She has a broad chest, a muscular neck, strong jaws, and a well-developed muzzle. The legs are relatively thin, but strong. She looks like what it originally was, a cat to keep rodents out of the barn and the house. The coat of the chartreuse is thick and dense. It becomes much longer and thicker during the winter. The texture of the coat is relatively hard, as it is protection for the cat. 1. The chartreuse origins are unclear. Like most cat breeds, there are colorful and potentially mythical tales surrounding the chartreuse origins. The most enduring explanation is that, the Chartreuse ancestors were feral mountain cats from the Middle East. During the 13th century, merchants or crusaders brought the cats to France. It's said that Carthusian monks later bred the cat at the Grand Chartreuse Monastery, in southeastern France. The monks have distilled a liqueur called, Elixir Vegetal de la Grande Chartreuse from herbs, plants and flowers, since 1737, so the Grey Kitty was called, the Chartreux after their famous alcohol. However, monastery records don't mention the Chartreux cat, so the jury's still out on whether this romantic story is true. Meanwhile, others say the feline received the name Chartreux thanks to their thick, woolly coats, which look similar to a Spanish wool called, La Pile de Chartreux. 2. ITs lived in France for centuries. While experts don't know where the Chartreux comes from, they say it's lived in France for a very long time. In 1558, French poet and critic Joachim du Bellay wrote a poem called, Vers Francais sur la mort d'un petit chat, French verse on a small kitten's death. The verse mourns a tiny gray kitty's untimely passing, a cat, that many people believe to be a chartreux. He wrote. Here lies Balad, my little gray cat. Balad, that was the most handsome perhaps. That nature ever made in cat's clothing. This was Balad, death to rats. Balad, to be sure his beauty was such. That he deserves to be immortal. And in 1747, French portrait artist, Jean-Baptiste Perrineau, painted an aristocratic woman, Magdalene Pinceloup de la Grange, holding a large cat with gray fur. Thanks to its distinctive coloration and build, art experts say that the kitty is a chartreux. Many naturalists, historians, and writers have also mentioned the elegant cat in their works. 3. The chartreux breed was threatened by World War II. Like many feline breeds, the chartreux cat's existence was threatened, after cat fanciers stopped breeding it during World War II. To save it, breeders outcross the chartreux with cats, including Persians. Today, you'll still occasionally see a poofy chartreux appear, in a litter of short-haired kittens, if both of its parents carry the recessive gene for long fur. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 4. The chartreux is a relatively new breed in America. The Chartreux didn't officially make it to America until 1970, when two cat lovers named, Helen and John Gammon from La Jolla, California, read about the Chartreux in a book, and wanted to purchase one for themselves. The couple traveled to Paris, where they bought two Chartreux cats. The Gammons brought the kitties back to America, and discovered that there were no other Chartreuxes registered in the US and Canada. They seized the opportunity to import even more of the beautiful blue felines. Today, those felines are thought to be the likely progenitors of all chartreux cats in the U.S. Eventually, the Cat Fanciers Association CFA, the world's largest registry of pedigreed cats, gave the breed full recognition in 1987. 5. The chartreux is subtly different from the British blue. Many think that the chartreux and the British short hair are the same, but if you look closely, you'll spot subtle differences between the two felines. For instance, the British blue's coat is short, plush, and extremely dense, with a crisp feel to the touch. In contrast, the chartreuse water-repellent fur has a shorter undercoat, a longer topcoat, and is slightly tufted and woolly. Meanwhile, British short hair's eyes can be copper, green, gold, and blue. A chartreuse cat's eyes are brilliant orange. 
and while both cats are stocky and have round, grinning faces, the chartreux has fine boned legs. Thanks to this trait, some cat fanciers lovingly refer to the chartreux as a potato on toothpicks. 6. Chartreux cats are mighty mouser. This pretty kitty doesn't let her looks carry her through life. Her mousing skills are top notch and well recorded, even in a few more well known pieces of French literature. And while she could go on and on and boast about such fame, the chartreux is a quiet bunch, choosing to make chirping sounds instead of meowing. 7. They are dog like. This cat is perfect for those who want a cat with dog like behavior. She will follow you from room to room and even play fetch. And, unlike other felines we know, she'll actually respond to her name and come when called. 8. The French writer Colette loved chartreux cats. French author, Colette owned several chartreux cats, including a feline named Saha. The cat inspired Colette to write a short novel, 1933's La Chat, about a man named Alain, who loves his chartreux cat, also named Saha, more than his wife. In the book, Colette's affection for the breed shines through, she lovingly describes Saha as a pearl-gray devil, and a little bear with fat cheeks and golden eyes. 9. Chartreux Cat's Personality The Chartreux is a pleasant cat to have as a companion. She is easygoing and placid. The Chartreux is a fiercely loyal, loving cat, and will attach herself to every member of her family. While the Chartreux will play, she actually doesn't need hourly attention. If she is in the mood to play, she will bring a toy to someone. The Chartreux also plays well by herself. She is a good companion for single people, as she plays in spurts and is comfortable by herself, or with her parent. 10. Chartreux cats are famously quiet felines. According to legend, the Carthusian monks selectively bred Chartreux cats, so they wouldn't interrupt the monks' meditation. This explanation for the feline's muted meow is likely more fictional, than fact-based. However, the Chartreux is known for being a quiet breed. They rarely make noise and when they do, they chirp and trill. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.